broke my neck in July of 2016. I went over to a friend's house and he had had a bicycle jump set up and after my friends encouraged me to try it once or twice, I said, oh, why not, what the hell? And I probably could have done it a thousand times, but this one way that I landed, I just immediately I lost use of my legs and my triceps. My arms didn't really work. I was frantically struggling to try to get to the surface of the water. My friends had to jump in and save my life. I was an inpatient at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab for around four months. And as I was getting out of inpatient rehab, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life and how I was going to spend my days. Definitely wasn't interested in sitting in the house all day. Somebody turned me on to a flyer that said Dive Heart on it. Dive Heart's a 501c3 nonprofit. Our mission at Dive Heart is to help children, veterans, and others with disabilities through uh, what we call scuba therapy. In, in pools, primarily, that's where the heavy lifting is done, but we also take them on, on trips down to Florida and Cozumel to get them in deeper water where we've uh, seen significant benefits. If we can get them deep enough, there's an extra output of serotonin, which helps them with pain management and anxiety. My first dive in the ocean was so amazing. You can't put it to words. The the colors and the feeling of weightlessness. I would say that feeling of absolute freedom from not just my wheelchair, but gravity as well. You can't compare it to anything, and I'm doing a really bad job of explaining it because you can't put it to words. Each individual with a disability can inspire people around them. It's kind of like a ripple effect. When somebody sees you in a wheelchair, and they go, well, what'd you do this weekend? You went, well, I went scuba diving. They're like, yeah, right, you went scuba diving. Yeah, sure, you're in a wheelchair, how do you do that? And then, you know, you show them video and photos and stuff like that, and people go, oh my God, that is so cool. And it creates a, a paradigm shift in their life. And they no longer then self-identify as somebody with a disability, they self-identify as a, as a diver, as a scuba diver. They're just like everybody else. One of our mottos is to uh, imagine the possibilities, and that's what we want really people to do, is, is focus on maybe what you can do instead of what you can't do. One of my favorite dives is simply in a pool uh, with a young lady named Erin. And on one half of the pool, there was a bunch of young girls, and I had Erin on the other side of the pool, and, and she's moving the best she can, and these young girls, look underwater and I can tell they're going like, oh my God, what is this? And they would pop up. I go, you guys, Aaron thinks you're a mermaid. So they went, oh my God, we're mermaids. And they like totally turned into mermaids and they swam over like a mermaid would swim over and they got close to Aaron and then they looked at her. They, I could tell they wanted to like reach out to her. She was reaching out to them. And I said, it's okay, you guys fist bump her. She wants to say hi. So they came up and they're fist bumping her and stuff like that. When Erin came to the end and we took her full face mask off, she t turns to her mom and dad on deck. She goes, I saw mermaids. I mean, it was really powerful stuff. Since my injury, I would say the thing I've struggled with the most has been patience. When you live your, your whole life as an able-bodied person, you're used to getting things when you want them and being able to do things uh, on your own all the time. So it might take you 10 minutes to take a shower, but for me, we kind of multiply that by about five or 10. The thrill for me is when, when I get a guy out of a wheelchair and he looks down and he goes, oh my God, I'm standing up for the first time since my injury. It makes them independent. Just being able to get out of my house and meet some new friends, go on a vacation, get underwater has been absolutely amazing. This, a team has helped me not just do things like grab some food from the buffet, but helped to make it possible for me to go on the trip. So it's absolutely amazing that there are people like this in the world and that they come together to help people like me. What we, we really want to do in the long run is um, have a, a destination, a pool, where we can go deep enough to actually replicate some of the benefits that we see in open water. But right now we're, we're opening up the search and if anybody knows anybody that wants to be part of a multi-million dollar project, give us a call. Yeah, I just want to sincerely thank everybody um, from Dive Heart and all of the volunteers and um, especially people who maybe have never even heard of Dive Heart, um, but just maybe have donated a dollar or two or five dollars or anything. I just want to sincerely thank them from the bottom of my heart.